Leash training is a fundamental skill for every dog. It ensures enjoyable walks for both you and your furry friend, promotes safety in public spaces, and lays the groundwork for further training. While leash pulling might seem like a natural canine behavior, it can be frustrating and even dangerous. This comprehensive guide will equip you with the knowledge and techniques to transform your walks from a tug of war into a delightful bonding experience. Setting yourself up for success. Before embarking on your leash training journey, gather the right tools and establish a positive training environment. 1. Leash and Collar, Harness. Select a leash that suits your dog's size and your walking style. A six-foot nylon leash offers a good balance of control and freedom. For leash-pulling dogs, a front clip harness can help redirect their focus towards you. 2. High-value treats. Identify treats your dog finds irresistible, like small pieces of cooked chicken or hot dogs. 3. Positive reinforcement. Leash training is most effective when you reward good behavior and avoid punishing pulling. Patience, praise, and yummy treats are your best friends. 4. Short training sessions. Start with short, focused sessions, 5 to 10 minutes, to avoid overwhelming your dog. Consistency is key, so aim for multiple training sessions throughout the day. 5. Choose the right location. Pick a quiet, low distraction area for initial training sessions. Your backyard or a quiet hallway can be ideal. Gradually introduce distractions as your dog progresses. The Leash Training Fundamentals, Step-by-Step -step Guide. Here's a step-by-step -step breakdown of leash training techniques. 1. Get your dog used to the gear. Introduce the leash and collar, harness in a positive way. Let your dog sniff and play with them indoors before attaching the leash. Reward calm interaction with treats and praise. 2. Teach the, look at me, cue. This vital cue establishes eye contact as a way for your dog to earn rewards. Hold a treat near your eye, gradually moving it upwards until your dog looks at you. When they make eye contact, click, if using a clicker, or verbally mark the behavior with a word like, yes, and deliver the treat. Practice this cue in various locations throughout the day. 3. Leash up inside. Attach the leash to your dog's collar, harness indoors. The moment there's tension on the leash, stop walking, become a tree. Wait for your dog to turn and look at you. The second they offer eye contact, click, mark and reward with a treat. As soon as the leash becomes loose, start walking again. Repeat this process throughout the session. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. 4. Reward Loose Leash Walking. The key to loose leash walking is rewarding the desired behavior, leash with slack, and ignoring unwanted pulling. While walking indoors, reward your dog with treats and praise whenever they're walking beside you with a loose leash. 5. Introduce Walking with Turns. Once your dog walks comfortably with a loose leash indoors, incorporate turns into your routine. Change directions frequently and reward your dog for staying beside you through the turns. 6. Transitioning outdoors. Once your dog has mastered leash walking indoors, it's time to venture outside. Start in a quiet area with minimal distractions and repeat the steps practiced indoors. Be patient and prepared for setbacks, especially with new sights and smells. 7. Managing distractions. As your dog progresses, gradually introduce more distractions during walks. If your dog pulls towards something interesting, stop walking, become a tree, and wait for them to return their attention to you. When they make eye contact, reward them and continue walking. 8. Practice makes perfect. Leash training takes time and consistent practice. Short, frequent training sessions are more effective than long, infrequent ones. Celebrate small victories and be patient with any setbacks. Leash training can be a challenging task, but with patience and consistency, your dog will be walking by your side in no time. Remember, the goal is to make the walk enjoyable for both you and your dog. Happy training!
Please note that this is a basic guide and might not work for all dogs. If your dog has behavioral issues or if you're struggling with training, it's always a good idea to consult with a professional dog trainer or a veterinarian. They can provide you with personalized advice and strategies that can make the training process easier and more effective. Thanks for watching the video. Do you want to be a good pack leader and stop your dog's behavioral problems for good? Check out the first link in the description and get your dog training video series absolutely free. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dog-related content. See you next time.